Alright guys, this is the next part of Gaming Talk 23. Uh, Pixel had to step off the call, but I still got my dude Maslin. Follow him in, in the description below and all his good stuff. Drop a like on the video in support, but the next topic is gaming news. This we're gonna we're gonna go through three three parts here. It's gonna be first Xbox statements, Year of the Scorpio, as well as PS4 reaches 53.4 million sales, and and Nintendo Switch event next week on the 12th. Uh, that's January 12th, 2017. First of all, let's go jump on X, uh, Xbox statements, Year of the Scorpio. Let me say this. It's good to be confident, Mass. It's good to be confident, but it's also good to be humble. Now, you might say something different, but Mass, what do you say about these statements from executives over there on Twitter and stuff like that over there on the Xbox? Uh, they're trying to push a narrative that gets people talking about their new system mm. and gets investors on board with the fact that it is releasing yeah. and that it comes with a certain R&D cost and certain release cost and advertisement. So they have to basically sell what they're doing, which is their job. They're selling what they believe is going to be the best system that they can produce. Mm. So they're doing their job. Mm. Whether or not they deliver on these promises is an entirely different conversation. Mm. But the, them saying these things on Twitter and elsewhere is just them doing their job of getting people excited for it and having people like us talk about it. Mm. And we are talking about it. Because let me say this. Nah. If this is the year of the Scorpio, then, 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 then Xbox better win January. You know, we <laughs> just playing. Let me stop. The X Scorpio Lord knows when X coming out. I wish they would have a date. If they see me personally, I don't like bragging. I don't like boasting or nothing. And Lord knows this might not be no bragging. Like you said, this is a business uh, move, a business move. But my whole thing is, it sounds like bragging. Uh, we don't even know when the Scorpio is coming out. Like we are all assuming, you know, well, November and October, but. When do you think the Scorpio is going to release? I think it'll come out day and date, the same day the Xbox One did, except for this year. So the 22nd of November? I think it was. Was it November? Yeah, I, I believe so. Okay. You so I, I think it'll November? be the same time, except for it'll be this year. And the way I read the, their whole Year of the Scorpio campaign, mm. I don't think it was bragging because they didn't specifically say anything about Xbox or about Scorpio being better than anything. They were just saying it is the best. It will be a 4K game experience. They, they had the same narrative that they've been pushing. Now, had they been doing comparisons to other systems, such as the Switch and PS4 Pro, that would have been the bragging part. This was just them saying, this is what we are focused on this year. Get on board. Now we can't we can't negate all the moments last year when they did take pot shots at Sony, like right. I I don't. This it's is just a, like I don't negate all the moments the two years prior where, on stage at multiple events, Andrew House himself took pot shots at Xbox. Yes, the both entire, of these guys. Are, this is how you share games. Video was a big. Not a pop shot. That yeah. was a cannonball. That was at Xbox. <laughs> <laughs> Let me say this though. So, I like, like that. I said, they, they've I, been the Xbox finally got into the, you know, tit for tat. Yeah. Last year, once they started to release this, but even then, the their um, shots came after uh, PS4 Pro and how it will be. Um, that how how did you put it that it will be the actual 4k or 4k capable uh gaming console on mm -hmm. the market this holiday season yes they they said that about ps4 pro and then xbox came back with the whole we have a blu-ray drive and we subsequently have the most powerful console ever coming out after playstation said the PS4 Pro is the most powerful gaming console ever. 
in the world. It was just they're right. They're going back and forth with they're the going same. Back and forth. Now, I did it. I'm going to do it better. I'm going to do it better. I'm going to do it better. I'm going to do it now better. Now let me say this. It's, let me let me say this. I'm not. Childish, I'm I'm not trying to say PlayStation has not pot shots or uh, popped off shots at Microsoft. I'm just talking about the here and the now about this whole year of the Scorpio campaign. My whole thing is, but like I'm I saying, told you, like I told the, you, the, I don't the, like bragging. Like the, that's what I'm saying. The campaign, I don't think, is a direct shot yet. Will they take shots? I believe that 100%. I'm just okay. saying the campaign, as they laid it out, isn't a shot, mm, in mm, my opinion, mm. just because of how they've said it. It's okay. just more of them trying to say, this is what we're doing. But I believe wholeheartedly that they will take shots mm. they definitely <laughs> should because like i i love how you said it in the last game and talk you said you want these companies clawing at each other like gladiators because uh, <laughs> at the end of the day the consumer we the people throwing these money at them throwing this money at them we get the benefits of them fighting for us you know and right. like so at the end of the day i am the only person that i care about in this scenario yeah. i have both stock in Sony and Microsoft. Damn. I own stock. I'm a shareholder in both companies. So, yes, I want them both to succeed because that makes me money. That's However, right. comma, I still, as a consumer, have to buy stuff. Mm. So, I want them fighting, which will lead to them making better stuff for me as a consumer, yeah. which will lead to more consumers buying stuff, which will lead to me getting more money as a shareholder. Oh, well, it's all it's, a synergistic cycle. It's I like a circle. It. Make it happen. I'm, I'm done. Well, look, look, look. If you guys want to get on masculine level, make sure you tweet him out. Oh, yeah. Let's <laughs> go. I got, I got tips for days. I got y'all. I got y'all. First of all, make a YouTube video about this crap saying, hey, this is how you, you, you bank on Microsoft and Sony. That should be the title. Anyway, <laughs> but we're gonna but we're gonna move on to over the hill Xbox year of the Scorpio segment, or at least part would be the PS4 sales reaching fifty three point four million. But before we move on to that, guys in the comment section right there, how do you feel about Microsoft stating this is the year of the Scorpio? Are you guys excited? Let me say this: Scorpio is coming out this year sometime. I predicted. It's going to be revealed at E3, and before E3, we're going to get the name. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. That is in the last gaming talk. Check that there. But going to 53.4 million PS4 sales. Now, this is including, all right, bundles, mass. I'm talking about Uncharted bundles. I think uh, Amazon had a listing and had PS4 Slim <laughs> out of all the PS4s, the Slim being on top. At, at at how much it was 250 was it it was yeah, 250, 250 with uncharted 4 and and yeah. let me say this that's how you sell a that's how you sell a console just like when xbox did it with halo they did it with halo 5 and 4 not 4 well 3 5 let's say 5 they did it with 5 you know like that's how you sell a console you put your biggest exclusive on the cheapest way to get your 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 system and like that proved to do to do Sony well because that contributed to it by uh, six point four million. Um, yeah. and because this is, this is what people don't understand when, especially when they go through all these very odd, I'll call them comments that I see in a lot of these forums about people talking about how Xbox is quote unquote giving away systems because they bundle it with a game or two games. I'm confused as to how you, as a consumer, is complaining about getting more stuff for sad. less money. That is very weird no to good. me. <laughs> no, but no, you could say it. Both it's a little consoles bit sad. are doing it, and that is how you sell to the consumer. Because yeah. as soon as I sell you a system, even if I gave you a game that didn't cost me anything to produce, because I gave you a digital game mm. but didn't cost me anything to do, I just had to give you a code. So. So hold on, now, wait. I never bought this bundle. You tell me, Uncharted Four was a digital copy? I think so. I think every that they haven't released a physical copy inside a box on either platform this generation. Now they did it with VR, uh, oh, no, the demo. No. Yeah, PSVR well, had VR, a demo, yeah, a physical that was, disc. That was a whole different peripheral type thing. But I think, I think the bundles are all digital codes, as far as I know. As far as you know, I'm gonna go check that out. But I could uh, be wrong, but it's, 
I, I believe they're digital codes. Mm -hmm. So the, those being digital codes, I, it didn't cost me anything. And even if it was a physical thing, you got to think, I you pay $350, let's say, we we'll leave it as around $350 for a PlayStation 4 with Uncharted 4. Me giving you this $60 game now locked you into my platform. So now you buy the multiplex on my platform, you buy my platform exclusives, you buy more games because I gave you one game and your system. So now you immediately had something to buy, and when you're done with that, you will look for another game to buy. I now get you into my ecosystem. By giving you one game, I put you into the ecosystem of buying more stuff from me. That's accessories, that's games, that's DLC. You all are now into my ecosystem to be able to spend more money with me. So me giving up one game and you buying, you know, 20 over the life cycle of your game or of your system, I made money on that transaction. Yeah. So Microsoft doing it, PlayStation doing it, it uh, a lot of graphics cards do it. Like you get, you buy a graphics card, get a game with it. Like everyone does it because it puts you into buying my product and now you're using my product. So there's no downside as a consumer. You get something free quote unquote mm, mm. Let me, for for less money than you want to pay. I think that's the best way these guys should go always go about it because at the end of the day, you, you, you look, that's how you sell your console. That's how you make these guys buy it. And and it, it worked for Sony. I, I, I and we saw the numbers grow with the PlayStation sales already. Like that's how you do it. Um look, like like Maslin said earlier it, when these companies fighting over your dollar is good, it's a good thing. When, and, and we shouldn't be calling anyone desperate. Like I, I, I know what you're talking about, Maslin. When they say, "Oh, they're desperate," listen, listen, listen. They're just trying to do the business side of things, and that's a good thing for us because they're trying to fight for your money. Instead of saying they're desperate, say thank you, you ungrateful sons of. I'm just playing. At the end of the day, you just gotta receive, right, Mass? Right. All right, I want to talk about that whole physical copy thing. It does come with a physical copy of Uncharted 4. Okay. Uh, that's uh, that's what I was checking. So if I miss some of your points, um, uh, uh, <laughs> because that's what I was checking. Um, also, the uh, Uncharted, the Nathan Drake collection came with a physical copy of, or uh, in the PS4 back when it came out. Uh, I'm talking about the Nathan Drake collection. So, you know, it's, it's a good thing they're physical because you can sell them back. So this game that's free, you can sell it back for something else. And Lord knows you can go to Walmart and say, hey, I don't want this game. And they'll give you another one. But anyway, I, I'm not, I'm not um, saying do that. I'm not, uh, I'm, I'm not behind that. But I'm not saying anything. But anyway, yeah. You, 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 what, you did that before, man? You went to, oh! <laughs> Never. Never. Hey, hey. We we were not, not one time. Ha ha! What the what no. the law says? Don't don't blank yourself. What it says? Like don't <laughs> incriminate yourself. Never incriminate yourself. Yes, right. yes. All right, moving on. <laughs> moving on. And that is the Nintendo Switch event next week. Now, Maslin, I already you already know how I'm, how excited I am about this Nintendo Switch. Viewers, are you excited about this Nintendo Switch? Write in the comments right now saying yes, and I would understand. And that will also let me know if I just see a yes in the comment section that you reach it, you reach this far. And we, we got a little bit over a minute left. Nintendo Switch event next week, Mass. What do you have to say about that? Uh, give me a price. Give me um, launch titles. Mm, you and think, I'll be happy. You, you think uh, Zelda coming out in March? Because a lot of people yes. are saying it will now. Yes. Mm, mm. I believe it it is be just like the rumors say it'll come out in March in North America and Japan day and date um, with the Switch and it'll be delayed in Europe. Mm, mm. Man, let me say this about that. It, I, that'd be a little bit sad if someone has to wait longer, but look. Well, I don't think they'll have to wait that long. Maybe a week or two. Mm. You got to think. Japan 
they'll have Japanese it, it, it's because it's all about languages in yeah. Japan they have Japanese you know English maybe one or two other language options in the states they'll have those same options it'll be about four language options for spoken words and written words but you have to think in you know the vast majority of Europe there's dozens upon dozens of languages in order to code an entire game for all of those dozens of languages it takes a little extra time so I believe that's what the problem holding it up is is the language barrier they'll have to code for all the games or all the languages across Europe as opposed to code for English here code for Japanese and Japan and then a few languages in between but we got to code for this span of languages across Europe in order for everyone to understand the game word 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 all right well shucks if they need to be delayed if they need to delay it to make that sure that's on point then that's hey I give more power right, to them delay, right delay what you got to delay like yes. I, I I give it to Nintendo that like I said last week they don't release broken games. They release games that work and that work very well. So okay. if they say it needs some time in the cooker for the European version, mm. let them cook it. Let them cook it. Let me say this about raw meat. You'll get messed up in the stomach if you eat that raw meat. Right. No good. But <laughs> moving on. Move, uh, move, uh, actually, I don't want to move on just yet. We will move on in literally half a minute. The Nintendo Switch is next week on... On the 12th, we're, we're, we're going to do our best on covering it. Follow all our channels, all our social medias, and all that good stuff. Uh, look, I'm expecting price. I'm expecting more more news in the lineup. Man, with Scorpio coming out later this year, though, all these consoles, you know what I'm saying? Like, where would every, Where will everybody put their roots in? Obviously, it's going to be in what you invested the most money in. And by now, on both Xbox and PS4, um, you're going to probably stick with that. But this Nintendo thing might rock the boat. This Nintendo Switch might rock the boat. And I really think Nintendo Switch has an opportunity to, 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 to have another Wii anomaly where it just comes out and just makes everyone want to get it and everyone has it. But look. It'll, and it'll all depend on the games mm. like always like if zelda, when zelda comes out everyone is going to rush hand over foot to try to get a switch i pre-ordered mine already so i ain't got to worry about how all you that. pre-ordered it what they ain't even I, on amazon know, yet right yeah i, I know people anyway hey so nah, man let me I give you some money dog already, <laughs> so i ain't got to worry about all that put me down what on launch day perhaps before or whatever no nah, man, no nah, man. No, no, no. You can't I'm, do that I'm, to me, man. I'm wildly anticipating playing it just like everybody else. That's a little bit sad. See, Mass over there got hooked up with uh with uh what the dude name is. What's that dude that smiled <laughs> a lot? No, what that dude who smile a lot who be on stage for Nintendo? Ra- R- Randy? Oh Reggie Feasome. Reggie, yeah, Reggie Feasome. Yup, yup, they be talking on the side. That's a little bit sad, man. You know, you know. No. I know people. No. I know people. Let me That's say this about Reggie. Reggie, give me a copy, dog. I'll review it. <laughs> I'll tell the people what it is, though. Hey, for real, though, we might have to talk at the Game & Talk match. But anyway, we're going to move on to the next segment. Thank you guys for being here this far. And, yeah, next segment is our last segment. Stay tuned. Pixel, tell the people. Pixel is playing art. Okay, moving on. Oh, you're right, though. <laughs> I'm playing the most electrifying best game game of the year don't even need to make a game of the year video because everybody knows what the game of the year is and that is so no good off. 